I already saved 10% so far. I have it on since May, so I am happy. Usage-based car insurance is new to Canada. It's hardly been around nine months, and already customers are cashing in. Based on my wife's car and mine, I'm saving uh, somewhere annually around $150 a year. So it's, it's, it's worthwhile. The only device available in Ontario right now is made by Desjardins, and it's called Adjusto. It plugs into your car's diagnostics port and records your driving habits online. So it's up to the 11th, so I drove 21 kilometers that day. So what exactly is the meter tracking? Well, it's recording how quickly you brake, how quickly you accelerate, the time of day you drive, and how far you drive in a year. A discount of up to 25% is enough to get any driver revved up, but be warned. This is not for everybody. It's for that person who doesn't drive that much, isn't driving late at night or through rush hour every day. So it's ideal for somebody who for example, lives in the city, takes TDC to work, uses their car to go shopping or maybe to go to hockey games or something like that. To save with Adjusto, you would need to clock fewer than 15,000 kilometers a year and not drive between the hours of midnight to 5 a.m. Although for the 45,000 people in this province currently using the technology, it seems braking and accelerating have been the trickiest to control. A fast acceleration is considered more than 13 kilometers a second. Just tapping the gas here, I'm already at about 20 kilometers. And a sudden brake is dropping about 15 kilometers a second. My accelerations and my um, uh, hard brakes are higher than I expected. We're both losing right now on braking and acceleration, which I think is a challenge in the city because you're, you're quite often in dense traffic and, and uh, having to step on the brakes a little harder than, than say a driver maybe is in a more rural area. It is true, if you're in a big city, heavy traffic, you will be penalized more. But the truth is, if you're in a big city, heavy traffic, you'll be in more accidents. The, the, the odds are just, just suggest that will happen. Right now, this technology is only available for cars, but in Saskatchewan, they are testing a pilot project with motorcycles. Keely Rogers, City News.